What's up guys, it's Murder Inc. I'm back again with another Champion Spotlight video. Today I want to talk about Rodos the Lost Groom. He is the current fusion going on right now and I want to tell you firsthand, he is absolutely insane. I'm really excited to talk about him. So let's get right into it. His A1 attacks one enemy, has a 75% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns, has a 30% chance of proccing an extra turn. Huge. And if you look in the bottom, it says damage based on attack and HP. Now we've seen this in the past with champions like Angar, and that hasn't really been good. One thing I do want to point out when getting this champion, whatever you see first is the champion that it values more. I recently figured that out. Maybe people knew this already. I thought it was a random order, but since attack is first, that's weighted the most of the two. As opposed to if you go to Mountain King, you'll see HP and then attack, which means it weights health over attack. So getting back to the monster known as Rotos, the Lost Groom. We went over his A1, really cool, decreased defense, 30% chance of proccing an extra turn. The A2 is really interesting, we haven't seen anything like this in the game so far. So it attacks one enemy, decreases the target's max health by 20%, then adds the health to this champion's max health so that's i think that's really cool so obviously there's a cap to it cannot decrease a single champion's max health by more than 60 percent in one battle and that's a hard cap at 60,000 health does not increase boss's max health this champion's max health will be increased by 15,000 when this skill is used against bosses so pretty decent against pve really good against pvp but I think everyone kind of already got that idea when I was going over these skills. So now let's get into the powerhouse skill, which is the A3 hands down. So the A3 is attacks one enemy, will ignore 75% of the target's defense, will also ignore unkillable and block damage buffs, which is huge. Grants an extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. Enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived. So this is, there's so much right here, and I just want to grasp that. Ignore defense, 75%. Goes through unkillable and block damage. If it kills a target, it cannot be revived. So this is, I mean, hello Tormund counter. This is the Tormund counter right here. You kill it, you kill Tormund with this, you get to go again, just complete mayhem on their team. So now let's look at this passive. It says, will not, so the incoming damage will not exceed 50% of this champion's max health. So that's saying it's going to limit to under 6,000 damage. So that's very, very interesting. Really want to see how that plays out. So this is how I geared him with Savage Gear. 25% ignore defense rounds out his A3, making it a flat 100% uh, ignore. On top of that, these are the masteries I chose to go with. I don't know if this is the best, this is just what I picked. Obviously you're not gonna take Helm Smasher here with Savage Gear and a 75% ignore. So there's really nothing left to do besides let's see it in a dungeon and let's see this guy in arena. So first let's do a dungeon. All right guys, so let's see this guy in dragon. We have a defense down weaken, attack aura, an attack up from doom priest. So let's give it a go. So here's the attack up. Here's the defense down and weaken. All right, so let's see what the A3 looks like. 180k so he's he smacks he absolutely smacks now let's look at the a2 145 another great hit let's take a look at the a1 in one time speed terror scourge that's a really cool ability so yeah like i was saying before really good raw damage you saw how he just applied the defense down there um some people struggle in dungeons with certain mobs like the Hordens. Okay, so that was 231k. So his damage is definitely ramping for sure. As I was saying, some people have roadblocks in dungeons where in Dragon it's Horden where they're just one-shotting your team. This is someone you can bring in who gets an extra turn after hitting, which is really cool. Um, has a chance to proc an extra turn. Has kind of like a... A fail safe skill where he can't get hit harder than 6,000 based on his max health. 
Now, I think he can really help you in progression wise if you really wanted to use him that way. Other than that, let's take him straight into Arena, where I think his kit's really made for. All right, guys, we're back with some Arena action with the new champion. Now, let's see how he does. First, we'll start off with Duchess here. Protect the team. Let's take out someone who's going to be threatening to us. Arbiter. All right, easy. Next target, that's going to be an actual problem. See, I don't know enough about Sifi, so let's just take out Ray just to be safe. Okay. Have Mountain King. So, I mean, he does damage. Right there, we just proc'd his extra turn. Yeah, so this guy is an absolute monster in the arena. All right, let's get straight into our second battle here. Not going first. Hate to see it. Let's see what this can do against a Duchess. We know Duchess is everywhere, so let's see what the A3 does. Almost a one shot. Got the counterattack there. Mr. Mountain King. Now let's look at the Vitality Plunder. Extra turn proc. Let's go after. Rageous Wind, so we'll hit the Arbiter. See, so proc the extra turn there, which is huge. So this guy just single-handedly carried this arena match. Now it's a pretty clear win from there. A3, and we are good to go. All right, now this matchup, we have another arbiter torment combination. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so he's counterattacking. This is his extra turn. We will, we will try to take out the torment here. Block revive, second turn. Let's aim for the arbiter. This guy is just cleaning up entire teams right now. So, for I mean, Mountain King. Mountain King is the Arena King. Everybody knows that, and he's not even getting a chance to get a turn. Rodos, the Lost Groom, is taking all of the glory for himself. So, depending on how reasonable it is for you to get this champion, if you're on the edge saying, should I go for it, should I not go for it, I 100% recommend going for this champion. Really strong in Arena. Perfect for this current Arena meta. I think it can really shake things up a lot. We already got Whirlin Frost King. We talked about him a little bit in the last video. So there's even possibilities of matching these two together and making a comp for that. As far as the AI goes, I believe he uses his A2 first when attacking him. I cannot confirm that. But I've been pretty sure the last time I hit auto, he used his A2 first. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Give me a thumbs up on this if you enjoyed it. Comment below on what you think about Rotos the Lost Room. Is he overpowered? Maybe too much? Do we think he's going to get nerfed? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.